Banjul has been missing for over a week now, and clearly the police have considerable concerns. Amongst those, of course, the fact that she needs medication, and apparently she doesn't have it with her. I would also imagine that she probably doesn't have a mobile phone with her either, because that would be easy to track, and of course, easy to put in a call to find out how that person was and encourage them to get the help they need, if indeed that's the situation. This CCTV clip gives us a fairly good sighting of her and the clothes that she was wearing just over a week ago and her direction of travel. And if uh, viewers want to check out the Sun's article, it breaks down quite clearly the roads that she was in and the direction that she was heading for. I'd urge people to devour that information. Um, clearly, uh, they're issuing a, a huge appeal here for assistance. Has anybody seen her? Has anybody got dash cam uh, footage, for example? Were you driving in that area around about a week ago? Has anybody got any ring, bell, ring doorbell footage? Was Angela seen walking past your house? Even if you live beyond the area and those roads detailed in the article, please check your ring doorbell because you never know. You may just hold the key to solving this inquiry and finding Angela. Clearly, media appeals are a huge part of their tactics um, because they're hoping to reach a very wide audience. And the police are urging anybody with any information to ring Cleveland Police on 101 and pass that information onto them. So often, it's the public that holds the key to solving these kind of missing persons inquiries. They may have seen her. They may have spoken to her. They may have helped her. She may have sought help from somebody. She might, in fact, be with somebody now who doesn't actually realise the seriousness of the situation with regards to her medication. So if anybody helps or is helping Angela, please do that right thing. Ring 101 and let's get her home safe and sound.